I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't mind saving $200. Hey there, Geek Squad. Is your network slowing you down? Do you wish you could upgrade to a real enterprise solution, but can't afford those pesky license fees and hefty hardware price tags? Do you want to stop feeling like a failure to your friends and family? Well, I can't help you with that last point, but if you're looking to take your network to the next level, the sponsor of this video has a deal for you. Here we are to check out the TP-Link Omada Demo Kit. And right now, it's half off. What do you get with this demo kit? Well, you get an eight port PoE switch that's power over ethernet. You get two Wi-Fi 6 access points and a dedicated hardware controller. Taking a look at this, I mean, you can see the original price for the bundle is $400. If we price out each of these individually, the two access points, the OC200 controller, and the eight port Jetstream switch comes out to about 450. You're still saving 50 bucks buying the bundle like this. I mean, really for $200, this is a no brainer. Let's see, the controller is about a hundred bucks. The switch is around a hundred dollars as well, give or take. And then the access points are like 120 a piece. So I run TP-Link Omada at home as my primary network anyway, but my controller is actually set up on a virtual machine on a VM in my server rack. So what I did was set up all of this equipment that TP-Link sent me to demo and show off to you guys in its own sandbox. So none of this has internet access at the moment. Okay, so the default IP address is 192.168.0.255. I do believe. Okay, I had to do a factory reset on this because I forgot my credentials. Set this up, obviously, before the video to make sure everything was gonna run smooth, and it didn't. When connecting to this for the first time, you'll probably get the, your connection is not private because it runs over HTTP, not HTTPS, within your local network. Got our startup screen. I'm not gonna go through all of this with you, if you would like to see a full setup guide of a hardware controller, the physical controller and or the virtual controller or virtual appliance that would run on a, a VM or a server, leave a comment down below. And of course, you've made it this far in the video and you learned something today, hit that thumbs up button. We're just gonna name this demo. Later. After you've created your account, TP-Link also has an Omada app where you can manage all your things from your mobile app. At this point, you can scan it with your phone, scan the QR code, get the app or go to the app store or whatever. Now, I'm not gonna rag on any other OEMs that charge a high license fee. <coughs> Rocky, excuse me. But a good comparison to Omada from my experience is Unify Ubiquity Series. The two OEM dashboards are very similar. What do they say? Imitation is the highest form of flattery, right? Right. That being said, Unify is super proud of their gear and the cost of the hardware shows it. Uh, if we do a side by side with similar models, an eight port switch is similarly priced, but their access points are quite a bit more. And if you want to use a cloud key to get a software defined network dashboard like this, you're looking about double the price on that on the OC200. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. They have their place for sure. I have many customers at my day job that run Unify access points and the ability to have a multi-tenant controller set up in a single cloud VM is nice for an outsourced IT company to manage on the customer's behalf, which you can do in TP-Link's Omada as well, by the way. I did say I don't wanna to dive too deep into this. A couple of the really cool things that are part of the Omada system, besides being able to granularly control and manage all your devices from a single pane of glass, go down to map. There's no devices, so I have to adopt some devices, which is weird because why isn't the switch being adopted to the controller? Oh, because they're adopted that's right. So the switch is adopted to the controller that I've already blown away. Damn it. Now I have to re-adopt those. Uh. All right, where were we? So I had to do a hard reset on the switch and the access point because they were adopted to the old network that I created that I forgot when I was testing this 
before shooting the video. Very well prepared, as you can see. We can come here to devices and see right away, just plugging the devices in, like if you pulled them out of the box and they weren't already adopted to another network, plug them into the same network you've got your controller on and they're recognized right away. So all we'd have to do, and uh, they have uh, default IP addresses in the 192.168.0.0 x range for example the switch is the dot one which you'll want to change anyway i said i'm not going to go too deep into this but look at me so i'm going to go ahead and adopt this and i'm going to go into the switch and adopt it as well these two devices are connected to the network now now if we go to map yeah here we are uh so we can see that uh there's there's no internet obviously i've got it in a sandbox it's gonna have a similar topology configuration like unify has where you've got your device topology map then they have a beta which i don't i don't oh that's right so here's your heat map you can create your own layout of the building where you're going to install these at and drop it in here add your wall say that this is a brick wall this is a cement wall this is drywall so for example if we did a brick wall right here we'll make it a little bit off just to uh, we come over to add the X RAP that we already have adopted to the network. If we want to drop it here and simulate, it goes through and crunches the numbers. There we are. So on a five gigahertz band. So again, this shows a simulated heat map based on the devices that you have, which you can go in and if you wanted to add an access point, virtual devices. So if you're like, okay, well, I'm going to add, if we took a 650 and added it in here, you know, and we've got this one over here, hit done, and then simulate the five gigahertz band. You can see where our brick wall is, and you can see how the signal is affected by the different types of walls that you have in your heat map. Like, that's a pretty cool thing that I think is powerful in a, really, this is a free application if you do it right. Like for example, I've got mine set up in a virtual machine. There was no cost or license fee or anything. I've got this running on a container, so it's not even running in like a server OS or a desktop OS, a Linux container, an LXC in Proxbox. Forgot about that. So you have a lot of different options on how you want to run the controller in your network. The demo kit comes with the hardware controller, so it's just plug and play, really. You have the hardware controller and decide you wanna move it to a virtual machine in the future, you can migrate the controller from the hardware device to the virtual appliance. I keep telling myself that I'm not gonna get too deep into this. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up now. In my unpaid, semi-professional opinion, hmm. the Omada system is a great entry point to an enterprise class network solution. From the zero touch provisioning, which allows for remote deployments, to the full topology and predictive heat mapping system included with no license fees, and all at an affordable budget. I feel that this is a great system that lets you add to and upgrade your system as your needs change. And if you're already saving $200 on this bundle price, I would recommend spending a little bit on a TP-Link router so that you can enable and start utilizing some more advanced firewall rules that go above and beyond what's available in the controller with advanced VPN connectivity if you have multi-site requirements. And of course, manage it all with the Omada hardware controller from the demo kit, again, in a single pane of glass. So if you're ready to upgrade your setup and try out the TP-Link Omada system for yourself, the link to this demo kit and other devices are in the video description, but it won't be on sale forever. So go check it out today and let them know I sent you. If these are the kind of videos that you like to watch, consider subscribing to the channel and click that bell for notifications when new videos are out. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the Omada system. And of course, thanks for watching.